channel, I'm Cassie and I'm Carmen and today we'll be talking about a very hot topic at the moment, Chanel price increases. Oh my god. That happened <laughs> two weeks ago, one week yeah, ago? Yeah, about two Recently. weeks ago now, yeah. So if you guys want to hear our thoughts on it and what we think about it, then keep on watching. For those who don't know, we are from Australia, so we will be doing this and discussing the items in Australian dollars, but throughout the rest of the world, most uh, the prices have yeah. increased as well, but might just be a little bit of a difference in pricing depending on where you're from. We've got a table here <laughs> from Perspop. <laughs> yep, and it details each bag that has increased in price, the previous pricing and the current pricing as well as the percentage difference. We'll leave that on the screen so you can have a look at it. But, but as you guys probably already know, the prices from the Chanel increase are mainly for their classic and iconic yeah, pieces. Right. So their like shoes and jewelry. Um, jewelry, clothing, they've all pretty much stayed the same price. Mm -hmm. Just their classic bags and some of their SLGs have increased in price. The biggest one that is on the list is actually the mini classic flap in the square shape. So that used to be $4,560. Which is already so which is, expensive. Which is a lot of money <laughs> for a tiny bag. And now it's $5,980, which so, is a 31% increase. $6,000. Crazy. For a small bag. Yeah. I would not buy that full price. Yes. I mean, if you think about it, three years ago, the classic flap in medium large was a brown well, that price. price. Yeah. So that's insane to mm. me, knowing that a mini square will now be almost six thousand mm. dollars. That's crazy. And me and Carmen, we both love the mini square. Yeah, we both got I two, love... and I think we'll keep it at two. Yeah, because <laughs> well, I mean, I can't afford any more. <laughs> I would have loved to have it in the, like the quilted one because yeah. we have it in the chevron and the coloured one, yeah. but the black quilted one, but no, yeah. not anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Thirty-one yeah. percent. And the medium classic flap is now ten thousand eight hundred dollars, which is. $10,800. It's the same price as a Hermes bag. Yeah, that's and insane. Yeah, $10,000 for a classic yeah. bag from Chanel. That's, yeah, that's, that's so crazy. expensive. But anyway, mm. so most of these handbags have increased from about 10 to 31%, with the mini square being the most expensive now. Another thing is the walk. Yeah, the price walk. of a walk is four, it's like $4,000. <laughs> it was 3616 now it's Four thousand one hundred and ninety. So Cassie and I both <laughs> both bought ours when it was two thousand nine hundred. Oh and literally fifty percent. It was already mm. really expensive for us at that price. I mean, mm. almost three thousand dollars on a little tiny wallet mm. is crazy. Yeah, that's... but I guess that's what you pay for <laughs> Chanel. <laughs> but did you ever think it would go up this much? No. If you yeah. No. So I I, I mean, knew I knew Chanel would retain its value. Like everyone yeah. knows Chanel. And other luxury brands, they will hold their value. But for it to go that much, mm. I did not know. Every other increases they have had mm. have only been a couple of hundred dollars, which mm. is already quite a big amount. Mm. But for it to increase by thousands, it's, that yeah. I didn't see coming at mm. all. So we did a bit of research mm. and we found out there were a few reasons why Chanel decided to increase their prices during this pandemic. Um, the first one is they're trying to choose their clientele. Um, I think they're just trying to target like the top people who can of actually the society. afford it. <laughs> yeah, which is quite yeah. sad. They are trying to make it less accessible to people. Um, so I guess they are just trying to make it more expensive so that the top class. I guess all their yeah. all their loyal. Chanel customers can just continue to afford buying it, but mm. everyone else is just, you know, just saving up for a bag. This price increase could be the make or break whether they decide to buy it or not. Because yeah. imagine the people that have already tried to save up to buy a Chanel bag that was like eight thousand, nine thousand dollars and now it's yeah. increased another thousand yeah. dollars. Like that would That's another thousand yeah, dollars. That they to have save, to save which up. is a lot of money. Yeah. And I guess I mean, brands do whatever they want and they know that people are going to buy regardless and mm. they will still have customers. So and the thing they can't like, really do what they want to like, their prices. Yeah, for mm. luxury bags, they aren't a necessity as well. Like, yeah. you don't need a luxury bag to survive. Number two that we found was because of this whole pandemic situation at the moment, they 
are trying to recuperate their costs from the slow economy. So, for example, obviously a lot of people haven't been shopping because mm. stores have been closed and a lot of businesses aren't doing very well and had to shut. So one of the reasons maybe that Chanel are just trying to make up the amount that they've lost from this whole situation. So the third one is the costs of materials going up. So they have had to increase their prices of their bags to make up for those costs. But surely increasing one handbag by a couple of thousand dollars is unnecessary. Mm. I mean, did did materials go up by a couple of thousand dollars? Did materials go up by 30%? I, guess, I just don't really agree I guess with it, it's to be also honest. where they source their mm. material from and yeah. because of all transport issues and everything at the moment, maybe that's increased in pricing. I don't know, I'm just spitballing. <laughs> I, I don't know, just throwing out ideas, yeah. I guess. But, I mean, all in all, I don't really think that that's the reason. I but think the main reason is that um, economy yeah. slowing down and economy just trying to and increase profits. Yeah, and just trying to milk it out of everyone. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess the clientele reasoning is also true. They are trying to be like Hermes, I think, and and I guess they feel strongly about their brand that no matter they know that people will buy it anywhere. Yeah. Like I know people are gonna get angry over it and everything, but people but are people still are still gonna, gonna buy it. Still people, yeah, people yeah. are still gonna buy it, and I reckon it's just gonna keep going up from yeah. Like who knows in three years time, it'll be twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> like <laughs> we don't know, but yeah. I, I think it will keep going up. It definitely will. Um, however, I think. Uh, a couple of years back, Chanel did actually do a price decrease. So I think yeah. that's... Do you think that will happen? That's in terms of um, currency. Mm, so true. if the AU dollar yeah. Yeah, goes up, then I think yeah. that will go down. Yeah. Um, but that's... Because right now the AU dollar is really, really weak compared mm. to the USD dollar. So I reckon maybe to like even out costs, um, it might go down if our economy improves. But at this rate... Yeah. I don't think it's Nobody's going to, going to yeah. decrease the price of their yeah. products. Yeah. Lastly, we'll just discuss whether we will continue buying. <laughs> Do you think you will continue buying given that it's increased by so much? I mean, I don't think I would actually purchase anything else from the Chanel store. Yeah, I wouldn't buy from the so store So anything anymore. brand new, but I'll... Yeah. If, it, if I want anything from Chanel, I'll buy it pretty lot. It's a lot cheaper, firstly. Yeah. And you can get stuff close to brand new on the pre-love market. Yeah. And you can get things that are uh, no longer in stock. Yeah. So for example seasonal pieces mm. that they don't stock anymore. But I have found that the pre-love market has also increased in yes, price of just because yeah. there's been a price increase mm. so that makes sense. But things are still cheaper than what you would find oh. in stores. So if you do still want to buy a Chanel item then you can just go pre-loved which I will too. I um, think yeah I think I'll that's definitely recommend it. Especially would go. like people in um uni still or studying mm -hmm. and you're saving up for your first ever Chanel bag I yeah. really I recommend looking on the pre-love market mm -hmm. like even our Chanel bags we did not buy them brand new mm. I actually only, don't have any yeah, brand new Chanel the items only um, brand new one we had was yeah. our first ever video on this channel which was the Chanel boy bag yeah. which come and sold yeah okay and I, I guess, also sold my wok which oh, I yeah. bought brand new and too what? so yeah. I don't have any of those mm. now but now that I think about it maybe I should have kept it <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think that's the only positive thing out of yeah. this price increase for the people that are currently own Chanel you can sell it for a lot more yeah. than you purchased it for like even the come and sold her boy bag and I still sold it for she, more, more than she still I made money off it yeah, yeah. and um, I guess the pieces that we have now in our collection if we ever want to sell it, we'll actually make money off it. Mm. So it's actually a really, really good investment. Yeah, definitely. But I don't think buying it brand new is yeah. a... I don't know. I don't think it's a good investment. But mm. who knows? It might go up like, like yeah. 50%. Unless, and 10, yeah. unless there is something that you see from Chanel, like a seasonal piece that you That's really hard to get, want. Yeah. And you can only obviously buy mm. it in store at the moment in time. You can potentially sell something in your collection mm. in order to afford something from the store because you can sell it for more than what you yeah. purchased for yeah. previously. So 
I guess to conclude, at the moment we're currently happy with the Chanel items that we have in our collection yeah. and we're not looking to buy one anytime soon. But if we were to buy one, we'll buy it on the pre-loved market. I'd like to know what your guys' thoughts are with this Chanel price increase. Mm -hmm. Would you still continue buying new items from this Chanel store? Would you go pre-loved or you just make wouldn't note buy any Chanel at all? Yeah. So yeah, let us know down below and we'll see you in our next one. Bye!